Well, day seven. Three more days to go. Can't wait till I get them done. Um, today seems like it's going pretty good. Yesterday was a really good day for me, I guess. Um, as most of you seen on the videos. Around, I want to say probably about 8 o'clock around bedtime, I developed a cough and then all of a sudden started throwing up. Which was not fun. Um, I felt fine and everything and just started coughing and couldn't stop coughing. And then just started throwing up. I was eating fine, drinking a lot of water, doing everything I'm supposed to do. Um, sat outside for a little bit, just enjoying the outside and watching the birds and stuff fly by. Um, today, uh, it's pretty good. I woke up, stomach feels like a washing machine, I guess put as in words. Uh, most of you know what I mean by that. Um, and I'm hoping that the rest of it does go pretty good. I do feel a little depressed today, but that's just to be expected. Well, this is day eight. Everything's going pretty good today. Um, besides the rain all day, that's been the um, kind of the downer. Haven't been able to go outside or anything. But really, nothing from the new. Um, keep getting a little nauseous here and there, but I guess that's to be expected. Still drinking all the water I need to drink. Um, probably drinking a little bit more to try and flush things out better. And this is my day eight. So this is the um, the fallout period. And uh, my doctors actually say that I'm clear, but with uh, further research and everything else, I decided to do a um, 10 day just to be safe because I do have a seven month old and as well as my wife. And I don't want anything to ever happen to them. So I will do everything I possibly can to make sure they are protected. Um, yeah, today's good. This is um, day nine for me, which I've got one more day to be reunited with my family, which I definitely can't wait. It's um, not short enough. But anyways, um, day nine is going pretty good. I've been busy around the trailer, trying to get everything all cleaned up, sanitized, um, doing some laundry. Just working like a little busy bee. Run out of energy real quick. So I figured I'd take a break and make a video while I'm resting um yeah feeling kind of tired <laughs> um today I'm not feeling too bad I guess the headache has gone away for now we'll see what happens when it goes to rain later on um I don't feel any nausea which is good ate some breakfast I was thinking about having some coffee, but kind of afraid to do that. Um, the cleaning's been going well. Since I live in a 28 foot trailer, it doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, especially since I had everything plastic wrapped and did everything I was supposed to do. So it's pretty much taking that off and scrubbing underneath things and disinfecting and all that good stuff remember when you're doing this stuff never use bleach I've been told that a good um, degreaser and then afterwards go over with baking soda and water and then I go out over that with Lysol to disinfectant to try my best to do everything I possibly can well it is day 10 I officially made it to day 10 my family is now home. Here they all are. Little Nolly there, playing. She's not even paying attention to the world. And Andrea, she's packing all of her stuff and getting comfy back. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone's support. Thank you for being there. Um, 
it has not been an easy road as a lot of you are finding out and have found out um, don't know if it ever will be an easy road but and it'll definitely be a new normal um, found a lot of strength that I didn't realize that I actually had um, today I'm actually feeling I feel exhausted, tired. Had to run a few loads to the wash to the wash uh, mat down the street, so feel a little tired and sluggish. But as far as that, I'm more excited that my family is actually home. Um, but anyways, just want to say thank you for listening to me. Um, this has been a battle. It's definitely been a battle. Some of these days, I didn't even think I was going to be able to pull through. The depression would set in and sadness and just not feeling good at all. You did a good job, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, had a lot of support that I didn't realize. And that was, I'm very, very blessed, very thankful, very thankful for everything. Even my wife's mother, before they left, she cooked a whole bunch of food for me um, so that I could have. Um, I am blessed for my wife's parents. They're, they were truly awesome. So yeah, I'm truly blessed for everything, even you guys. A lot of this, boy, I would have drove my wife completely insane and crazy if I would have kept going with the stuff that I was talking to you guys about sometimes as long, you know, as you know it's, it's stressful especially for being the loved one of the patient that is going through sometimes you may not understand but you still see the struggles and it, it's hard to watch someone that you love struggling and for us it's hard to watch the ones that we love going through to suffer with us it's not easy you gotta keep strong together. Go on that new lit road. The one that I'm always saying that light at the end of the tunnel. It's not the same. It has a little bit of a different tone to it. But it is the new life and the new normal. And as we learn as we go and try to figure everything out, yeah, we're gonna hit bumps. But you know what? We'll get through those bumps. Might jostle our brain a little bit, but hey, we'll come out of there dizzy. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you again. And I appreciate you guys being there and helping me. And I will talk to you again later. Bye.